Hello everyone, this is Dr. Spronzen. Welcome to my session. Streaming is not just for gamers. And I'm sure that most of you are familiar with live streamers and most of them are gamers who are frequently in YouTube or in other platforms to show how they are playing their games while their subscribers are watching them, how they navigate their world of gaming to share it to their subscribers. These are some of influencers or let's say live streamers who are very popular in 2020 and made use of their time to uh, use technology and streaming to grow their influence from their craft. I have a YouTube channel which I started in 2013 and it is for my flip classroom model for Barstow High School. So I created all my videos from basic algebra all the way to college level calculus and started creating the libraries for a year-long curriculum for my students since 2013. And when the pandemic hit mid-March of 2020, my transition from traditional learning to online learning went pretty smoothly because I have a whole library and collection of videos that I can readily use for my students. So my students also didn't have a lot of uh, difficulty adjusting to the new modality. And with the time I had in my hand, I decided to start live streaming. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. Si Prince Kai, sir. Hello din. Ayan, ayan, na-destock na ako sa inyong... And happy Valentine's Day, belated. Hanggang alas 12 ng tanghali tayo magsasama-sama. At sana hindi ako masyadong maubusan ng oras. So if these gamers are taking advantage of the online technology, might as well use my time to share my content creation skill to the students, teachers, and educators across the globe using my platform to share with them how I create my content online. And this is how I started my live stream in 2020. So I invited my friends from different discipline and asked them to share their expertise from special education to higher education, science, biology, and music education, and use our time to do live streaming for teachers and students using Facebook and YouTube. And when I created my live streaming, people are noticing the benefits of having a live audience. We have a more engaging approach in delivering our content to them. And I was surprised that within two weeks of having my live stream uploaded in their website, I had over half a million views from my Flip Classroom webinar from the live stream I had on that particular day. And this is when I thought to get serious in live streaming and make use of this platform to educate and use this to help students and teachers on how to navigate online learning during the pandemic. So this is my home here in Barstow, California. This is where I handle my lessons in Chapman University, West Coast University, and Barstow Community College. And this is also my hub in sharing my time during my live stream through my Facebook page and my YouTube page every Monday and Friday since December of last year. And these are some of the equipments that I use in my live streaming. I have my tools to help me broadcast my live stream to people across the globe. I organized three levels on how you can create your own live stream. You can use this platform, which I call level one platform, because it's pretty straightforward. You just need your cell phone, you just need your mobile devices, and you can instantly broadcast your live stream through this platform easily. You just need your camera and your self-confidence, and once you hit that broadcast button, your live will be available to anyone who is subscribed to your platform. And level two is where StreamYard can be extremely helpful in creating a more dynamic layout in your live streaming. It can be a little bit restricting because some of the layouts and some of the pre-available design that you can use in StreamYard cannot be modified, but it's still a good way on how to broadcast your live because of the convenience of all these available layouts that all of you 
can use. And for level three, I'm using Ecamm Live because I am using Mac computer. But if you are a PC user, you can use OBS Studio. And what's nice about these softwares is it's giving you the liberty to create your own design and be more creative on the layouts and how you want your stream to look like. And this is why I have this dynamic pages that I created and stitched in Ecamm Live. Live streaming may be a little bit intimidating because to be honest, content creation and creating pre-recorded videos is easier than putting yourself live in broadcast because you're more vulnerable to technical errors, technical difficulties, internet not working, mic not working. However, live streaming is definitely a game changer, especially for us educators, because it will help us be a better teacher. And this is also going to give us a better way on how to reach out to more students, especially during this pandemic. And I want to quote Ram Emanuel. He said that you never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And the school shutting down is a serious crisis. And this is just one way on how we can take advantage of this situation situation through being creative and being more risk takers using the available platforms that we have at this time. And again, this is Dr. Esperanza and thank you for sharing your time with me in my session on streamers are not just for gamers and I'm looking forward to seeing your own stream in the near future. Bye!